Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! <laughs> Call me a knob. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In this video, we're going to continue the quest Family Matters once again. It's a really long quest and um, this time we're going to go back to Oxenfurt. We went here, I think, in the last video or the video before, I'm not too sure. And um, we couldn't get in because we didn't have a pass. But in between last time and this time, the Baron has given us a pass um, to look for his daughter because we told him that his daughter is here. So we've got a pass this time to actually enter this, um, the city. So we'll speak to these guards and see if they let us in. So let's get it off the horse, let's go approach this soldier. Halt! You need to present a pass if you want to cross. Here we go, I've got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Uh -huh. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot the game. They're really off their heads these days. Happens, so be it. You may come through. Alright, that worked. Come through. Oh, we leveled up with that as well, level 8. So, I'm not sure if we can take our horse inside. Let's see if we can. Let's get on the horse. Move it. And we completed the quest there, Thou Shall Not Pass. That was the quest was to get in the city. So, uh, yeah, wasn't much going on there. So, there's a waypoint on the map now for showing where Tamara is, which is the Baron's daughter, and we'll head straight there. I'm guessing there's quite a big... Uh, I'm guessing there's quite a lot of things to do here in this city. There's a, um, a barber there, you can see. Oh, by the way, guys, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, I've actually had a haircut in this game already. And uh, he had his beard shaved, he's got, like, the sides of his hair shaved. I rescued the guy, this random guy, and um, he told me he was a barber and he would cut my hair for free. So that's what I did in between recordings. So, um, yeah, that's that. Alright then, so we are now next to the marker where the Baron's daughter is. I think you've got to go around this side, maybe enter a door. Here we go, there's a door here. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. <laughs> it's a pretty good looking cat, isn't it, for a game? What's he doing? Staring out. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Father's worried about you. I don't blame you. Um, I don't blame you because he beat her mum, and I think he cheated her like shit, really. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well... Now you found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Alright, son. Um, why'd you, why'd your mother miscarry? What? Why? I don't I think it just happens, doesn't it? So what happened to your mother? Let's see what happened to her, because you don't actually know where she is. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. And um, what will you do now? 
what yeah so she doesn't seem to be doing anything about it does she she's not building up an army of some kind because she looks like she might be quite powerful you know be able to get some people's in influence people to help her what will you do now find my mum there we go you realize that might not be that easy don't worry i'm not daft enough to believe i can do it alone i've got some new friends now powerful friends they'll help me all right then who are these friends who are these friends if it's not a secret no secret Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Sounds a lot like Game of Thrones, you know that woman, um, the Lord of Fire, whatever it's called. It's like a similar thing. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Who are you? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where will you take her? Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. So that thing at the end there where he said, your father told me to give you this, I forgot to mention. After I stopped recording the last video, I was walking out of the um, Baron's castle and he gave me a doll. It was like a child's doll. So that's what that was. Uh, I can't help myself. Gotta lose everything. So the quest now is to talk to the Baron about Tamara. So you have to go back to the Baron now and talk to him about his daughter. Oh my god, there's so much to do. Like, even this city here, we've just opened it up, so like there's so much of this we've got to explore. So we'll be coming back here. Let's just continue with the quest for now, though. We'll get this out the way. Family matters, because it's been a long-going quest. So hopefully it'll end soon. Alright then, guys, let's return to the Baron. Um, I've got a feeling as well that, you know, we're going to have to do something about his wife, because she hasn't been confirmed as dead, and, you know, his daughter's looking for her. So I got a feeling we're gonna play a part in looking for her as well at some point. So let's just go to the Baron and tell him that she's not coming home. See what he, see what he has to say and see if he actually mentions his wife. All right, the Baron should be inside this room here. Let's have a word. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave your daughter the doll. Yeah, the other things are just like sad talking pit bits. Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. <sighs> well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her. <laughs> Call me a knob. 
Alright, so if I quit this conversation now, will it give me a quest to find his wife? So long. Investigate all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. Huh. So this is like a background quest now, because there's nothing on the map showing us where to go. So we'll have to do other quests that will lead to the answer for this, the solution to this quest. So, um, what we can do is, we can head back to that place where his daughter was and see what quests are available in that area. And see if they lead to the solution to this quest. Alright guys, actually, you know what, um, this quest here says investigate all remaining leads in Velen. And Velen is actually the entire map that we're in. So, f figuring out where to go off the top of my head now is going to be a hard task. So what we'll do is, we'll we'll jump into a few side quests, just because um, we've got a few of them building up. And I think they're on level 6, so we don't want to over level them too much to make them too easy. You know, we want a bit of a challenge. So we'll quit back out there here a second, go to the quests. Um, we'll go to secondary quests. And we've got, see we've got like level 5. There's a quest here to um, investigate, examine series room. And I'm guessing this is going to be where the Baron is, because that's where she stayed, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a quest right behind us. We, we kind of missed this one out. Should have done this a while ago, really. So let's go inside here and see if we can investigate her room. See if we can find any more clues about what's going on. Because the Baron's still withholding some information. Until we find more about his wife, he's not going to tell us... He's not going to tell us how it all ended between them. So there's a few things to look at. Let's look at this. The Natural Obscurity of Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Alright, we can, we can read that book. Should be in the quest tab. Here we go. This. Hmm. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Huh, okay, so that's their clothes. So she left their clothes behind and maybe was wearing something else. So she won't be wearing what she was wearing in the other cutscenes we were playing her as in. A spinning top, Gretka's toy. Go to the kitchen and talk to Gretka. Which one's Gretka? I've heard it, I remember the name, but I don't know who it is. In here? It's the kid. So it's his, it's his, to her toy, excuse me. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Fish of white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Oh. What else did Siri say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. So she's actually looking for us. That's good. So she's looking for a friend. Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Um. Do you know where she is? Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Alright then, and let's ask about the toy that we found in the bedroom. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. So that was purely a side quest right there. That didn't really progress any of the story. It was just, she was there, she played with the girl. You know, not, she was, she was, Trying to help a friend, but we don't know who that friend was. Alright guys, I'm going to actually make this video a short one because um, we've done a few little bits here and there, but it didn't, didn't last that long. But I don't want to make too many quests into one video in case one of them carries on for too long. I like to fit a whole quest in a video. 
So in the start of the next video, we'll do his quest that's tied on the right hand side. An invitation from Kira Metz, and um, Kira, the, one, the witch who helped us find the, um, the elf a couple of videos, videos ago, um, she invited us to return to her just to, to catch up, I guess. We'll, so we'll go to her and we'll see what, like, what's up, what's up, what she wants. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.